Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Pipes along here, they're, well, they're, they're taking a while, but I mean, I've got the, I've got the Dracos in here. They haven't laid any more eggs yet. They're happy. I think we may need to wrangle a couple of extras, like I've got that one there. Why can't I reach him? Okay, apparently he's completely untouchable, but that Draco there is not. He's age 128, though. So he's he's getting on a bit in years. I don't want that one in here. I want a young Draco, which would be that Draco there, except that that one is completely... Ah, there we go. Right, let's go to you. You're age 6. Wrangle. That one is scheduled for wrangling. Uh, what about you? You are age 58 over here. You can be wrangled. This one here is 67. That one is 53. I heard oh there we've we've had them we've had some wrangled. I've had a couple of them wrangled. They should bring them back over. I got another printing over here. Choose a blueprint. A pipsqueak. A little purring pipsqueak. It will grow into a fully grown pip. I have no idea what those do. I'm just going to reject everything at the moment. Um, I would like more duplicates, but I don't think I'm quite ready for having more duplicates yet. I mean, I think it would be quite nice because they should then be able to help with all of the other jobs that I've got going on. I have got a huge amount of jobs that we're trying to get done. I'm trying to build up this pipe up here. So that I can hopefully cool stuff down a bit more in here. Because that's 40 degrees in there. These wheeze warts don't seem to be able to cool things down fast enough for my tastes. I got one there that is cooling down. Uh, that one is 33. But the, the ambient temperature around them is over 40 degrees. Which is rather hot. Uh, the electrolyzer right here. I suspect the electrolyzer is heat it right the electrolyzer is heating the area around it which doesn't help matters so that hydroponic farm there uproot that mealwood plant actually no cancel uproot that one uproot that one and uproot that one there. I'll rip a few of these millwood plants out and we'll get a lot more of the wheeze warts in just for a minute. And we'll see if that will make any difference. They still need to come up here and dig their way up through and do all that. Ah, there we go. Exosuit training. Right, Atmos suit. Supplies you begins with oxygen, toxic, low breathability environments. Forges exosuits for jupe. Jupicans will not fabricate. Uh, exosuits can be filled with oxygen to allow jupicans to safely enter hazardous areas. Um, copper here. Aluminium, 300 kilos. I don't have any aluminium. Slation plus 50. Athletics minus 6. Oxygen tank. That one there. Atmos suit. I've got 5.5 tons. Iron, I've got 2.5 tons. So what's the difference? Insulation 50 and 50. There's no difference in these. So these Atmo suits right here. I'll go with... Actually, I'm going to go with the iron ones because there doesn't seem to be any difference in the two of them whatsoever. I need reed fiber and iron. I'm going to make five... Well, I want to make 10 of them. I don't have enough iron to be able to make 10. Yep. No, I, I don't want to do forever. We'll go with 10. We'll go with 10. We'll, we will order them to make 10 of these suits. Now, I'm going to need more iron if I wish the suit to keep making. You in here, your igneous rock to sand at the moment because I'm using a lot of sand, except that I've got the storage bin completely full of sand. So don't really need to worry about that at the moment. Iron ore to iron. And this is what I could do with is some iron. Refined metal raw mineral. 
that's not the one that I want. Metal ore in there. I have got one ton of copper ore. Iron ore, I've got 55 tons. And we've got iron ore galore over here. Oh, no, that's phosphorite. Where's the iron ore? Ah, there's the iron ore. It's all this shiny over here. I've got lots of iron ore available. I'll be able to reach it. So we've got stations down here. I got... I'm sure I had refinement. Kiln, clay to ceramic, oil refinery, petroleum, and natural gas from crude oil, rock crusher, fertilizer, water safety, salinator, ethanol distiller, algae distiller. Right, well, those aren't what I want. I wonder, have I got to go into... If, have I not researched it yet? We're going to research smelting. We'll let them get started with doing that. That's going to be our next little task. They can run through, do a load of smelting, and then we can start, like, changing things over. So, like, for example, I can put suits in here so that when they go up through, they'll be using suits instead of, like, getting stuck. Um, so if I go to the base right here... I am going to put a wall in there so they go up through and run round. They sort of won't come in through this way. Okay, I've removed items from here. So I want to go there and I want to copy the settings from that one. And I want to go one, two, three, like that. So that I've got every other one in there. There's three additional Weezwort plants going into that room. Now I've got... At least one wheeze wart over there that I can go and get. And there's another one in there that I will be able to get. Plus, I've got more wheeze warts in here that I will be able to get. Got a bit of oxygen. There's, there's several wheeze warts down through that we'll be able to go and fetch, bring in, and use. It's just whether or not we, like, in here, this, this is 21 degrees, this room. <laughs> like, this room is warming up. I don't want this room warming up. Now, I've got these wheeze warts should help if I can get more of them in here. This is what I've been told. These wheeze warts are the way forward. But I don't know how you actually breed them. I don't think you get seeds from them. I think you, you have a limited number of seeds from them. What was that noise? Downtime. Was it, that, that could have just been saying it was the end of the day. He could have just been declaring it was the end of the day and I didn't want to do anything else. Well, that's fine. We'll let them do that. They seem to have got all the food that we want. We've got all of this lot up here. I've got... Uh, oh, there's water weeds in there. I'm not concerned about those. Um, that bit is... Oh, no automation wire connected onto that one. So we, we'll want automation. Well, that's what we're going to do now is we're going to bring down the automation. We're going to connect it into that natural gas generator. So if I go to here, take the automation wire, go to that natural gas generator. And then I'll run that along under here. And then I'll go up here. And I'll bring that through there and then back in that way that's going to all connect in through there because then i'll have another one up on this side as well i want to dig out there which will be three high and then dig out there which will be four high so we can get them all to we can get them to just remove that little layer up the top there plus i've got oh no they can't reach that that's why they haven't done it is they can't actually get in here and they can't reach it well that's okay I'll have them remove everything from that side. They will then be able to reach it and remove it. They've got some other things that they want to go and remove anyway. So I've got like all the way over this side and working down here. We need Atmo suits for being able to work in it. And up this way, like this is all completely filled up with hydrogen all the way up through here. So I'm guessing we'd want Atmo suits going up into there as well. If we can get them. We'll have to see about that. 
These here are using up a little bit of water, but it doesn't sort of cool them down very much, does it? You're delivering in dirt. More dirt. Um, I'm doing my research at the moment. So I'm making some Atmo suits right here. Insufficient. All right, so I've made a load of Atmo suits already. And research is complete. Excellent. There, we've got metal refinery and metal tile. So now I need to add in a metal refinery. And I'm... Well, I was sort of thinking about doing it over there. Uh... Where are we going to plonk a metal refinery? Now, honestly, where would be the best place to do this? It, it's going to take a phenomenal amount of temperature, isn't it? The load on there. All right, so that's going to be station. No, it's not. That's refinement in here. Metal refinery right there. Now, power 1.2 kilowatts. Well, that's slightly insane. Um, algae distiller. Requires 120 watts. The metal refinery is 1.2 kilowatts just on its own. So I essentially just want to connect it straight into the battery bank. In order to be able to do anything with this. Which means that i got to bring that all the way up through. We're going to put this one up here. It put, It's going to be putting out quite a lot of temperature and stuff. Um... Wondering exactly how and where we should do this. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to go down through here and I'm going to get rid of that tile, that tile, that tile, that tile, and that tile there. Because I've got some extra stuff that needs to be built all the way down through. And then that metal refinery, we will be able to start... And we're making a bit more iron. Let's get it going again. They're digging these out, which means they'll come along and replace a few of these. I also want them to do the outside edge of the tank down there. Which there's, I'm still waiting on them to work on that bit. We're doing the automation wire around and into those. So these in here are the automation. This one is going to be... The low threshold, that one will start up at um, 30%. And it will kick off at 95%. That's where it will turn off. Copy settings. And paste that on all of those, right? And then we'll go in here. This one, I want this one to turn off at 90%. And that will turn on way down at 10%. So it won't turn on until it gets to 10% and it'll switch off at 90. And then, you know, that can switch off at 80. We'll have that one switch off at 80. And then these down here. So that one there and then we'll have another one. They will do sort of top up the top bits. We could even bring that down a bit further. That could go down to 70%. We'll do it like that. We'll do 70%. Um, copy settings. There. Right. Switches on at 10%, switches off at 70%, and that's connected to the coal generators. This up here switches on at 30%, so it does have some overlap, and switches off at 95%, and that is connected to the natural gas generator down there, and there'll be another natural gas generator that we will have running up here. Covering up these bits up this way. So what we've also got is a boatload of sand that we've just uncovered. So I'm actually going to dig out that there. So that they drop that sand down. Right. i got to be careful here that I don't get my duplicates trapped with that sand. That could end up causing us a little bit of a problem. I'm hoping it won't, but it you know you never know, it might. Okay, we're, we're, we're on our downtime anyway, so we'll, we'll let them work through that. We've got this all the way up through here that they haven't even considered getting up to yet. All right, that's, that's a long way up. They've, they've got to go and deal with that. I've got the exosuits here. So this is, there's no oxygen up here. This is all hydrogen. 100% hydrogen all the way up through there that we kind of need them to do stuff with 
Uh, oh, here we go. Right, awaiting coolant. Coolant. Liquid output. Significantly heats and outputs the liquid piped into it. Well, that's got to be the water that is running into it. So what I can do is I can actually take the water that is coming from this zone. Pipe it in. Although that's going to heat this whole bit up. So what I'll actually do is... Right, base in there. That's the mesh, tile, the metal tile in there. I don't want to worry about that one for a minute. Although that does mean I can run a lot faster if I go and use that. No, I want to go to plumbing. I want to go to the liquid pipe in here. And I'm going to want to take this liquid pipe. It's going to go up from there. So it's going along this way. And that's going to go... It's actually going to go straight up from here. That liquid pipe is going to go up that way. And it's going to go in there. And then it's going to go up this way. And it's going to go over. It's going to go down here. And it's going to run along here. It's going to go into there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that pipe, and I'm going to get rid of that pipe, and I'm going to get rid of that pipe. There. So that's, that's the first bit. All right, they're all getting back to work. I need to watch this bit. This 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 here is quite a danger zone for them. i got to make sure they don't do anything stupid just on here. Uh, we're building in some wires over that side. I think we might end up building a door here. And keep this separate so they put Atmo suits on to get out. Ah, there we go. Told you. They're going to do something stupid. All right, dig that out. And then you can escape. All right. That was close. That was very close. We have got to be careful they don't do anything stupid like die. So I'll pick up that sand and I'll pick up that bit as well. We've got some sand up there, which I'm going to ignore. I'm going to leave it behind. Dig that as well. That bit of sand there will need to be dug out. And then we'll come in over and just... They're holding their breath for a bit and getting through. Uh, so I can take out that. This bit underneath and then there. And then we'll just be able to get out the rest of those. Okay, so that that will actually work out okay. They, they can get right the way through. They can do everything they need to do uh, without having too much in the way of trouble. I've got the last of the automation wires to go in there. Which means then this one down here. Generator idle right there. It's... Why are you idle? Right, I've now connected up everything. I've got the wires. Wires have come up through. Yeah, so I've got the automation wires on here. Those are demanding that that one stays running, but these down here are not running at all. So if we look on here, that is ticking down. And then when all of these run out of power, because they are all connected together, once they run out of power, then the coal generators, they will switch on. They've got to get down to 10%. These down here. These will send the signal out to these here. And that will start the coal generators running. They will fire up. And off we go. Anyway, I had a signal. There we go. We got more um, printables available. A puffblet. Non-aggressive critters that excrete lumps of slime with every breath. Uh, I'm... You want? Let's just take that one. We'll see what he's like. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. He screets slime with every breath. I, I'm not really sure what we do with that. Why are they getting a... Are they getting too cold? It, oh, no, they're tired. The, the blues is that they're too tired. 
Okay. Uh, oh, of course, the insulation underneath here, I wasn't able to reach them properly. So I'm going to need to go with base here. I'm going to take tile like that, and I'm going to put that across there. So they will jump up, and um, then they will be able to build all that. This, oh, they are now actually getting up there and doing some building. That's good. Um, those bits up there, they don't matter. The pipe in here is building... It's going to take a minute or two. I've also got that bit down through that is now ready, so I can go to power. We can go to the heavy watt joint plate. There. One, two, three, four, five of those in there, which will maintain a floor all the way through. See, that one's on. These are not. They are empty. So what is your setting? You Your low threshold is 30. So if it drops below 30, that one comes on. And if it goes above 95, then it switches off. Seems to be about right. And then these down here, they don't switch on until it reaches 10%. So they're still tick they're, they're all They're ticking down. Slowly ticking down here, all of them. When are all these generators going to kick in? They'll kick in any minute now. Any second now. All those generators are going to turn on. There we go. Right, the generators have all switched on. So we know that everything is working now and it's working fairly well. I want to connect up some heavy watt wire through here like this, and I want to connect that straight into that bit of network right there. And then this is going to go down there onto there. So there's just, there's going to be a direct feed in like that. Um, so I've got the water pipe that we're building now to be able to go all the way across. I've got most, the water pipe is mostly all the way through now. So that bit is being dealt with. And then I've got the ladder up here. We're just getting up here to get the last little bits out. Once they've dug out the rest of this, this it, it should all be good. That should be fine. There should be no issues up there. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else that I need to concern myself with. I've got more of the pipe being sent up through here. There's, there's the wheeze wart. I don't have any do over this side, do I? It was over this side. Um, have you finished? You're almost done over this side as well, which means that now I can put in I can put in a fire pole in there and there and join that together. And I can join in the fire pole on there. And then all I've got under here is I want to just finish digging out all of that there like that so then they'll put in a bit underneath um and i also want them to just finish putting in that wall over there and that'll be that piece taken out and there's nothing else i need to worry about for a second with it oh wait no there is this uh that bit there that's got to be dug out right so far so good so far Everything is working as it should be. I got plenty of coal, raw mineral, refined um, filtration. Consumable ore is on 8.8 .8 tons. I have got enough coal in here. We've got drecklets in here, uh, drecos in here. Uh, they don't seem to be breeding, but then they are, they are hungry in here, I think. The slight problem is that they're still hungry. I've got one plant in here that can grow at the moment. The overall temperature in here is still really ridiculously high, which is not very helpful. The pipes are almost finished there. The pipes up here are also almost finished. I've got a little bit of digging left to do, which is now happening. Like that. What, just, what did I just have drop down? Snow. Snow is what just fell down. So what's all this in here? I've got I've got to get over into that one over there, I think. Which means if I just take a bit of base, I'll put you there like that. And then we'll go over this side and we will start doing a little bit of digging. We're going to do it like this. And I'll dig there. 
I'm actually going to dig back a little bit further. One, two, three, four, five. Up to there. Should be able to get them to dig these bits out. And then dig that out, I guess. I'll figure out a way to get up over there. and Well, actually, I think we can just put a ladder in. That's what we'll do. I'll put a ladder in right there. And they can get up to that door. And then I'm hoping that they'll go through. We'll unlock this bit and we'll see where we are. So that I can decide what to do with my pipe that's going up there. Although, if I've, if I've got the rest of the pipe hooked up, which I do now, I kind of want to get the rest of the system installed, which is going to mean removing that pipe. This one's in, and then I want to connect the other one in down the bottom. We'll do that in a minute. They're doing some other stuff, and then what they'll be doing next is they'll be running around, and they will be starting to, like, tidy everything up in the base, because I don't have loads of other jobs for them to do at the moment. We've got no research selected. So now they're just, that they've, they've literally done everything that I need them to do. They're just going to go up through. They're going to remove a couple of these items here. Yeah. And then we're going to be putting in the ladders and we're going to be building up a few extra items so that they can get to that security door. That's the next bit that I want them to do. Get into that security door. We've got a load of ice and stuff in here that is slowly melting. <laughs> Uh, although, actually, what is the temperature in here? It's cold, but I don't think it's horribly cold. The temperature in here is... I think the temperature actually seems to be rising in here. 40 degrees up there, 38. Or maybe it's not. Maybe we've got some cushions of cold in here. We've definitely got a cushion of cold down here. And I also definitely want to get rid of that. That needs to go. Right, they're going to just quickly take all of that out. Default schedule, work, off you go. Get started doing whatever it is that you need to do. This is still filling up. That one is dormant up there. We will ignore it for a minute. Just a few little bits over this side. I'm going to attack that tropical Paku there. Because he's old. Um, the exosuits. I need to have a couple of places where exosuits are put on and taken off. So I'd like to be able to dig down here and dig way down. That's got to be an exosuit job. Uh, but then also, coming out through here, this has got to be an exosuit environment as well. So what we're going to do is, first up, we're going to remove these tiles... Or do we need to? I don't actually know. We don't need. I don't think we need to. What we want is stations. Atmo suit checkpoint. Marks of the threshold where duplicates must change into or out of Atmo suits must be built next to an Atmo suit dock. Stores and recharges Atmo suits. So how does it recharge? Have I got to like have oxygen being brought over to this one? Gas intake pipe. Oh. Build next to an Atmo suit checkpoint to make duplicates change into the suits when passing by. Um, an Atmo suit dock will empty Atmo suits of waste, but only one suit can charge at a time. Atmo suit dock, if it takes copper, it has decor plus 20%. If it takes iron, it doesn't have that. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.